About a year ago, I made over this space in my living room, adding an Ikea bookshelf and window bench, but never got to finish the built-in look with a coat closet. Last week, I finished the geometric accent wall with picture ledge, and today I will take you along as I finish the rest of this room. This Ikea Brimney's wardrobe has been sold out every time I checked, and I finally got an alert that it was back in stock the day after Christmas, so I went right out and picked it up, and my husband and I put it together. Of course, Mr. Sarge has to make an appearance and get some love. For the handles on the closet, this is what it came with. These just like generic white long handles. I don't really care for them. Plus it doesn't match the way that I did the window bench. So you can see here how I have the leather straps on the drawers for the window bench. The straps that I had, I had two left over from that window bench. They weren't quite long enough. So I did have to order some new ones on Amazon. I can link them below if you are interested. And then they have these, um, the grommets that are antique brass is the color that I got. So I'm gonna put these handles on instead so that it matches the vibe of my living room. To make the wardrobe sit flush against my wall, I need to remove the baseboard behind it and on the side of it. And I did this with my multi-tool using this oscillating attachment. Basically, it's just a thin, tiny saw blade. And you wanna be careful with this when removing baseboards. It is very easy to go through your wall or your floor. I knew I was gonna end up cutting it too short. I am gonna be putting quarter round around the frame of it, just like I did on my bookshelf so that it does look more built in and like it was always meant to be here and not just a piece of furniture I stuck in the room. So that's what we're gonna do next. And then we're going to build something here because I need to fill up this space so that it looks like one cohesive wall of built-ins and that's what I'm going for. I applied my quarter round using liquid nails and brad nails. For the gap between the bench and my wardrobe, I'm going to build a little ledge. I couldn't find anything that would be narrow enough to fit here and complete this space, so why not make something? Using some scrap MDF from my accent wall, I cut them down to fit right under my windowsill. I actually put the brace piece up too far at first and had to remove it. I wanted the shelf part to fit right under the windowsill and didn't account for that. Okay, also I broke one of my uh, softbox lights, so if the lighting is a little bit off or shadowy, I'm sorry, I'm waiting on a new bulb to come in. So I cut down some wood, notched it out where I needed to so that I can have this back support and then I'm also going to put a side support right here so that the shelf has something to rest on um, and then also on this, so. I'm gonna put that on and then this piece on top. And then we're gonna have the side support under here. I'm gonna put one in the front too, just to finish it off so that you don't see those side and the back ones from farther away. Um, so I'm just going to glue this in using my liquid nails my brad nail gun, my favorite thing, and hopefully it's gonna hold up. So I have a whole wrap here. <laughs> it's a little bit tall and hard to show you, but this is what it looks like. It looks like the same stuff that you see. It's like slatted wood on those like roll top desks or roll top like bread boxes. So this was just like a little bit too white and the walls are white, the bench is white, the bookcase is white, the crown molding is white. It was just getting to be like a little bit too much white. So I wanted to add in some wood. I got this and then, and then I also got this wainscoting. So I got this 
and it's kind of like tongue and groove. I think I'm gonna put this on the back of the bookcase to give that some depth. I'm gonna need to cut it down shorter. I'm kind of nervous to do that because what if I don't like it and then I can't return it? I'm sure I'll find something to use this on. Okay, let's cut it down. I applied the pull wrap to one door and let that dry overnight to see how it looked and then moved on to the bench drawers. For this, I bought craft dowels to line along the drawer fronts and get rid of that gray frosted look that just no longer fits the space. Oh my gosh, you guys. So here's a little glimpse into how impulsive I am when it comes to doing projects for my home. So this beautiful, what was that stuff called? This beautiful pole wrap that I added looks great on its own, but it is so red toned and it doesn't match the vibe I'm going for. It doesn't match what I did on these drawers with the bam not the bamboo but the dowels that are like a lighter wood okay i don't know how well you can see this it'll pick up on camera but can you tell how red toned this is compared to how light this is like there are some darker spots in the dowels but it's just a much lighter tone overall this is what i did last night i laid it out on the floor this piece and they look like they match right like why do they look like they match there and then up on the door it is red like i don't get it so i guess i wasn't completely impulsive but i was trying to make sure that it was going to look good and on the floor there it looks great but it just really doesn't match so i had also showed you guys this wainscoting that i bought so this is just two pieces that are it's like tongue and groove that i put together and this is what the wainscoting looks like but if you turn it around it looks like the wood slats which is exactly what i'm going for and it's a much lighter wood so i put a piece i just taped a piece up there because unfortunately i did glue this one down so i'm gonna have to rip that off but i put a piece down here and look how much lighter that is and it just it gives off the same vibe so i think i'm gonna go with that let me see if i can back up and get both in the shot here so you can see just like how much better that's going to look with the drawers uh, i have to rip that all off now thankfully i only did the one side but hopefully it doesn't damage too much because i do like i can't take it back now i'm stuck with it so i do want to use that on like future projects at some point when adding the wainscoting, I chose pieces that lined up as good as I could get them, especially for the doors, so the seam isn't super obvious. Okay, so I have the wainscoting on the door panels, and then I got this little trim. It's only a quarter inch thick, and it's like thinner on this side, thicker on this side, so it's like a little finishing piece. And I'm going to use this to frame out the edge so that it's not just like a harsh stop because there is a little bit of a gap in between the wood and then the door so i'm going to use this to just kind of cover that all up and then give a nice finished look i need to tape this on up top i don't think you can see let me lift you up so that i can see how long it needs to be i cut it a little bit too long but i'd rather it be too long than be too short i can also see where how short i need to cut this piece it's gonna sit right on top there i think it needs to come down just a little bit and then to cut this down i'm just using my miter box my saws are all too powerful for this what it looks like with the trim around it and then without i think it just adds 
a little bit more detail and dimension to this flat Ikea piece. I repeated this on the bookcase and then wanted to fill in the seams to make them a little less noticeable. There are like little cracks where the two boards meet that I had to cut some down because it wasn't quite tall enough, long enough to fit. And now I have these wood fillers that I want to try and see. I have one that is in pine and then one that is natural. So I want to see if one of these or maybe a mix of the two colors will work to kind of just like blend in that seam. Let me show you a little bit closer so you can See what I'm talking about. I'm going to start on the bottom so that, you know, if I don't love something, it's at least a little bit more hidden. So you can see where there's that seam right here where I got them as lined up as I could, but you're going to see that. And I, I want to at least camouflage it as much as I can because this, this is pine. This is pine board. So, I mean the pine looking at the color, like it, but it looks a little too orange or yellow, just looking at that um, up against it. That's why I got the natural also, because like there's nothing on this wood. There's no sealer or anything. Let's see the color of that. Ooh. <laughs> Very like, <laughs> gooey, I guess, I don't know. I also don't know if it's gonna like dry down to be a little bit lighter. So there's that one and then this one. I kind of think that the natural is going to be the winner. This stuff stinks. I don't know if you can see that. Um, yeah, I kind of think the natural, this is, this is definitely too dark. It'll be way too noticeable. So I'm going to just try the natural first. I filled the seam on the closet door as well and let it dry. And now I'm taking a 220 grit sandpaper to remove any excess and smooth it out. The wood for the wainscoting is very rough and it's splintered where the grooves are. So I also took my sandpaper in between the slats to give them a smoother look.
the 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 All right, friends, this morning we are shopping at Ikea. I'm a little bit early. It is only 9.46 and they open at 10 a.m., but we're about to get a big snowstorm here. We're getting six to 12 inches of snow today. Um, it's gonna start like around 1 to 2 p.m. So I thought I would get out as soon as they open, get a few things for the living room. I need to find, I need one more picture frame for my kids' school pictures so that they all match. And then I need some baskets for kind of organizing things in the living room and then I want to look and see if they have any more fun little knickknacks. I'm sorry the lighting is terrible. I parked literally the sun is like beating right on me. I parked in probably the worst spot to try and film something but that's what we're doing this morning. I want to show you it is freezing outside. It's 21 degrees outside. It is really freaking cold and the real feel is like four degrees I think they said on the news this morning so it is it is cold out there I want to get this done as soon as possible and miss all the snow I still have to go grocery shopping as well so that's going to be fun in Ikea I looked at the pillowcases I love picking up pillowcases to change out my decor for such an affordable price and I'm loving these textures I'm really into that look right now and opted to go for these sage green velour covers that match my wall so good I'm not super impressed with the basket section right now. Everything had a green or yellowish look to it, which the camera didn't really pick up on, but that just wasn't what I'm looking for. I love this cane table lamp, but it was completely sold out. I did go online while I was there and bought one to take into my office and love it. So this was a pretty unsuccessful Ikea run. Let's get home before the snowstorm. The next thing we're gonna do is replace this ceiling fan. It is just very basic. The silver definitely doesn't go with the room anymore. So here is the one I bought. I've never installed a ceiling fan by myself before. I have helped my husband a few different times, but I think this one's just gonna look really beautiful. Go with the black accents and then it has the wood blades. There is two tones. There's like a lighter and a darker. So I think I'll end up going with the darker. I love the new fan, so beautiful, but you can see I do need to touch up that paint now that this fan is a little bit smaller, the top of it, than the old one, but it just looks so good in this room. Before I reveal the room, I wanted to show this section that I didn't get to share in the video or it would have been way too long. I painted my window black and added contact paper to the windowsill to match my larger window above the bench. I also built this narrow table for behind my couch to put some plants and lamps on, and I love the ambiance these lamps provide in the evening and so glad I found them.
This stunning mirror was a $12 thrift find and I love the detail and look of it. It will get hung up on the wall here. I just didn't want to drop it by trying to hang it myself. After completing this space and staring at it all week, I think I'm going to stain all of the light wood that I did to match the console table and the accent wall that I shared last week, just so that it has one cohesive look. Right now it's more of a like boho Scandinavian vibe, which I love. That is one of my favorite styles right now, but I really wanted more of like a moody ambiance in this room and I just wanted it to have a lot of depth to it. So if you follow me over on Instagram, I will share that update over there. I will link that in the description box below. And if you haven't seen last week's video, I will link that right here and I'll see you guys in the next one.